Good morning. It is Thursday, April 13th, 1031 in the morning. Uh, my drawing event is today and I am getting ready. It's at 2 o'clock until 5 in the afternoon. Uh, I still need to pick out my earrings. I think I did my makeup. So, and I have to figure out what shoes to wear. It's actually going to be quite warm today. Uh, and then next week we're going to go back into the, the cold. <laughs> so the highest... Uh, temperature today is 27 degrees Celsius which is pretty insane let me show you what I what I decided to wear so I got I got I don't like looking at the belly button but I got this dress it's a maternity dress uh, as a hand-me-down from my partner's sister I guess my sister-in-law and I think this is what I'm gonna wear just to battle the heat I'm gonna be inside for the most part so it won't be that bad but I'm pretty sure transporting my backpack and like moving around will get me hot I've been running hot like lately just cuz yeah but it's not that obvious so I guess I don't know if you really look at me but from far away I don't think I look that pregnant <sighs> okay I'm gonna pick up my earrings uh, I feel like I want something pink to match or blue to match this but we'll see what I have I decided to go with the apples it's 10 51 and I'm just doing some warm-ups because <laughs> it's been a bit since I drew a person honestly it's been like a week or something like that so I just pulled up some random portraits on um, what do you call this Google's and I'm just going to practice one or two. I just to warm up my hands. I um I'm I've decided to use watercolor this time around just because I found it uh, a little bit kind of boring last time. So it's gonna be watercolor. I think it's gonna be a bit more fun for for people to watch. The other thing I'm going to change up is uh, since I already don't do like your your ye old caricature drawings I'm going to take pictures of people I'm gonna obviously ask for their consent and I'm gonna be like you know I'm just gonna take your photo and then post for me take a photo and then I'm gonna use their photo as the reference for the drawing I feel like I'm faster that way and I found that in my previous drawing event a lot of people did not stay still <laughs> And I, it's going to be at a library, so I think there's going to be quite a bunch of kids. And I drew a few kids last time when the kids were, they were so cute. They were like trying their best not to move, but they also looked really so uncomfortable. <laughs> One kid, a little boy, his mom was right there and she was just like, okay, just stay still for her. It'll, it won't take that long and just a couple minutes, just stay still. So he did stay still and, but he was so, just so uncomfortable. Like he was trying to smile, trying to hold his smile. I'm like, oh, I'll be quick. You don't have to do that. So uh, I'm going to try this tactic where I will take a picture of the people and draw them and I'll tell them they can sit there or they can walk around and come back in like 10, 5 to 10 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do this time around. <laughs> and I think that's fine. I mean, I feel like some people might like that better than having to sit in front of me because I find that people think... <sighs> Could be quite awkward it could be quite awkward for both parties so i don't mind that i'm just using my small palette and the colors are going to be a light wash i'm going to be using my mixed media paper i have everything packed but i'm just using my materials that are already available i have like another pad of mixed media paper that is outside so that is not packed That's what I'm going to be doing this this time around. Maybe this sleeve is not a good idea.
So I'm just going through some random portraits, candid, that's the keyword I put, or that's the couple words I put on Google Images. And this guy came up and it says here, ethnically ambiguous male close up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I just went up the stairs. I preheated the oven so I can eat some chicken fingers before I go. <laughs> um, so this is one of them. Let me show you the... Oh, I already exited. But this is a lady. And this is what my racially or ethnically ambiguous male turned out like. So this is what I think I'm going to go with. Just like a light background wash. And it's nice that I do these warm-ups beforehand because I figure out, oh, you know what? I actually need a bigger brush like this one. So I'm going to bring this guy and probably the rest of the things I use because I feel like I'm kind of superstitious. If I don't bring the stuff that I use to do the warm-ups and the warm-ups are successful, I will not be successful when I actually do the thing. But I'm not going to bring this. This is the palette I was using. I'm going to pack my, my samples. I didn't bring any cell bags this time around. I think that's okay. I put my hair up so it's not in the way. I'll just let it down when I get there. And I can't find my regular glasses, so I have to use these ones. They're somewhere in the house. These are okay, but they're kind of weird. They don't sit on my face right. <laughs> In Kenosha, Wisconsin, and she was the second youngest in life, and a firm but fair man. Their mother, incredibly creative, an artist, she was caring, kind, and One example would be in winter, when a nearby lake froze over, they'd all go out together and ice skate around it. Creative to the core, every child would be involved in music in one way or another. And each of the Griffin siblings speak of their parents. This is the box I just opened. Comes with the cartridges right here for you to see. That all go out together and I stay around it. Created for the core. Every child could be involved in I'm in the middle of um, installing my Epson printer. And I cannot find the USB key or the USB cord that I used for my Epson. I know I kept it. I just don't know where I put it. And a lot of printers don't come with those USB cables. This has wireless capability, but my, my wireless capability at this house is not very good. Because first of all, our Wi-Fi is not very good. So I can't find the USB cable. I know it's in the house somewhere. Like I remember, I remember keeping it, and I didn't take it out when I took my Epson out. So I'm so confused. Oh well, I'm gonna continue to install, and I'm sure it'll turn up. Hopefully, I'm just listening to some true crime in the background, so don't be alarmed. That um, she had the affair and basically blamed her for all. The and how is Julie reacting to this accusation that all of these things are taking place because of that affair she had so many years ago? Uh, mm -hmm. Dresser. And she's describing predominantly hang up calls at this time, correct? Yes. All the way to December 3rd, 1992. You have issues with the mailbox and follow the report? Correct. Then October 25th, the hang up call started again. 
and on November. And again, she makes reference to hang up calls and several calls from Mark at the office. Um, and call her home for a check license plate for vehicles. Yeah, yes. and, 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 and it is deemed impossible for him to be the one making both the phone calls and deleting the images. As mentioned earlier, in the face of this harassment. So then there was one, there was an incident where she called me to work one day and was really yelling at one now. The feelings that her husband had never forgiven her for the affair in 91, in the months leading up to December of 1998. It's calibrating. It was pretty good to me. Uh, okay. I did. So it's a perfect fit. Um, it's just as loud as my artisan, which is kind of funny because of how small it is. And I'm just going to set it up wirelessly for now. Maybe it'll be fine connected wirelessly. We'll see. So, yeah. I'm just adjusting it and then I'll print my button designs to see how it looks. So my plan for today is once this is installed, I'm going to start working on the cornucopia stickers and then later in the afternoon I want to go outside. So I think I'm going to go to the mall and get a bubble tea just so I can take advantage of the warm weather. It was really nice yesterday when I was doing my drawing event and then I didn't really enjoy the rest of the day because by the time I got home, which was around um, probably 5.45, I had some dinner and I just fell asleep until the next day. So. Yeah, um, it wasn't even that much work, but uh, my body just felt like I needed to take that whole night of sleep. So I slept really um, um, early, and I woke up really early. I woke up at around 7.30. I started my laundry. I got ready for the day. I had coffee, and now I'm doing all this stuff. But yeah, later in the afternoon, it's going to go up to like 25 Celsius, and then next week it's going to snow. I hear rumors. <laughs> so... I'm going to take advantage of the nice weather and like go out for a walk. Um, my boyfriend is with a friend right now, so he's going to come home um, late tonight. So I have some nice alone time here. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to work on. But I'm just going to finish installing the whole computer, the whole printer. Um, it, this should have taken like 10, 15 minutes, maybe even less than 15. But because my internet at this section of the house is really bad, um, it, everything is slow. Usually it doesn't really bother me. Uploading YouTube videos is already slow and I'm used to that so I give it myself at least like the night before when I want to upload a video. But like streaming, I love streaming. I used to do it. It's just too hard with this internet. And we've been trying to get better internet. I check pretty frequently if we have like new systems in place around this neighborhood but our neighborhood has limitations on how fast our internet can go. I'm pretty sure I can like if I pay you know top dollar I can do it but Canadian internet is horrible and too expensive so okay rant over it's just installing the final stuff um, it has a scanner so I think I might have to I'm gonna see how the scanner goes and then if it's good then I can get rid of my old scanner even though it has been like the best thing it's like a workhorse it's just I have like technically I have three scanners because my brother printer has a, a scanner that new one has a scanner and then I have a separate like single scanner oh ho 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 let's see what the quality is like this is an inkjet printer but it's like a home series so it's supposed to not be as good as like my artisan or the other brand I was thinking of I think it was Epson 970 or something oh, but we shall see and the cartridges are tiny if you saw them. They are so small. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see how fast they run out. I'm gonna be printing a bunch of button designs and then a couple zines as well. So we'll see how it goes. I might print some of my uh, Ultimate Body Horror through the Brother printer. It doesn't do too bad with black and white and minimal color. So that's, um, this guy is good. He's a bit dusty. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh my goodness! So, uh, yeah, sorry for the lighting, but in person, prints fucking awesome. Not even a line through anything, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think I might just saturate the colors a bit. I did brighten them up, 
with my Epson I needed quite a bit of brightening but this may be I can just um, increase the saturation like especially you can see it on the strawberry a little bit light but I'm pretty happy with that so much fucking better than staples uh -huh. okay awesome <laughs> Okay, so this is the first one I drew. Um, I added the pattern of feathers later, but I don't know if I, how I feel about it. I kind of like just the plain one, just the solid color, but I think I have to think about it a bit more. And then the other one is just plain. <laughs> I think it's pretty horrifying, which I, I like, but I don't know if like my patrons would be happy. Or if anybody would really purchase it. I'm going to post it on Instagram and see what people think if there's... I don't know. Because like... Um, I don't really get enough views on Instagram anymore because of the algorithm. But if a couple people see it and maybe they'll react. It'll be funny to see what they think. So I can kind of assess there. I'll post it on Twitter too. Um, I like it personally. But... <laughs> Yeah, I did add like the tail here, so it kind of looks like a an insect or shrimp or some sort. But the eyes just like, why is this happening?
So my cave is slowly getting there. I was I bought these curtains a while back and only now that I decided to put them up. Um, they're a little long, uh, but that's okay. And they're just like regular blackout curtains, not nothing fancy. Uh, when it gets really bright in here, it gets too bright to work and sometimes the sun gets too hot, so this will help. I also bought a pair for the guest room. Right here, the window's open so there's some traffic noises. Oh, yeah, but we actually, I actually cleared out this room a while back when I was cleaning out the, the cabinets. So cabinets are clear except for one um, drawer which is full of just like um, winter hats and extra gloves and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, because this is where the baby is going to be, or at least uh, our, our child <laughs> eventually. So like we, I cleared the guest, we cleared the, the bed to the bedroom and I'm like slowly clearing stuff out here. Uh, I need to bring that downstairs, but I need my boyfriend's help because it's uh, too heavy for me or it's too... It's not too heavy, I can lift it. It's just too awkward for me right now, especially if I'm going down the stairs, I wanna be really careful. So I'm just gonna ask him to help me with that when he gets back. I still have to sell or donate the this thermal machine. I tried selling it on Kijiji, but there was no interest. I'm donating that tripod and this is my con stuff, which I need to find a place for. Um, and then some laundry that I'm doing. So yeah, it's... Um, pretty clear here I have the AC unit in the corner there but um, yeah it's um, coming together a lot of this stuff I didn't buy so this was a uh, from my brother it's like a nice gray bluish carpet it's really nice I just decided to go with the same blinds or curtains as I have in my room so pretty simple it's now 1230 and it's really hot I think I should go for a walk I feel like getting something cold like an ice cream so or a bubble tea but I need to decide which one I want because they're two different paths oh, so sunny I decided to just go to the grocery store because we need to get some more milk and stuff so I'm gonna get milk and ice cream hopefully the ice cream doesn't melt by the time I get home. <laughs> candles for my tripod it is now three o'clock I started the first little box of the other side of cornucopia but I'm working really slowly and I can't seem to find my small brush this has been the theme of the day is I can't find things like I misplaced them and I don't remember where I put them like when I was installing these curtains I kept losing the screwdriver like I would put it down and then I wouldn't remember where I put it but I had put it in the other room and then it took me like a couple minutes to remember and or I'd have to walk around just can't find things today or forget things I'm forgetting stuff um yeah I started it I came back from the quick grocery run and then I had dinner or had lunch and then I came up here because I wanted to get started on the cornucopia so I just finished one box just this it's really bad it's still very beginning stages and I need to find my smaller brush I only have these ones but I need the smaller one from this hey, it's about 5 45 I had a shower I didn't really nap I just kind of blazed on the couch and just scrolled through social media um, but I came back here after that and before my shower to finish up the uh, the, uh, da, 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 the cornucopia box and here it is so good start um, not as strong as my uh, first attempt on the back side but um, yeah 
I really pushed to finish that. I wanted to finish it. <laughs> so that's that. You know, the more I look at him, the more I like him. hot in here it is saturday april 15th 8:05 at night i did my drawing event i didn't really film anything i actually i did i filmed really quick clips of me leaving and also where i was drawing so i was drawing at a library which was right beside like a fitness center um kind of like a community center kind of deal and it was very busy because it's a saturday so lots of families doing you know their recreational activities with our kids and stuff uh, so I was there from 11 to 2 I got back home and it's now 8 o'clock and I've just been working on a new comic because I really fe felt like doing something different didn't feel like painting because I was painting all day so let me just give you a little update or story time of this event overall successful um, I knew Saturday was going to be busier because it's Saturday everybody's just doing their thing but when i came into the venue i came in about 15 minutes early and i walked into the library and there was um like a story time with kids so really young kids with their parents and they were doing story time and i was already like uh oh <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go for a ride here so once i once we were set up we were placed right beside the story time section with like cute little carpet and um kids books and stuff and they were just wrapping up so as i finished setting up at 11 i get a barrage of kids and their parents and their parents were like what's going on this looks really cool and the way this whole event is set up is i'm the artist that they hired to do like some performative art because they're um advertising you know like public art in the community so there's people who I have been working with, with who are set up separately from me who will talk about you know the whole deal and why I'm there so it's not just me I basically just draw and they do the talking but um, all the parents just come to me and they're like what's happening what's happening and I was like well um, I got hired by you know the city to do some quick portraits for you guys it's gonna be free uh, this is how I do it and this is I take a photo I draw your kid whatever and you can come pick it up later uh, so a queue starts because all these parents are so excited to get like a free drawing of their child <laughs> i drew children exclusively today and so i i i've never really done these events before especially this amount so i just started taking photos of kids obviously with their parents consent i had a queue started of about 15 children and um after i was as I was taking photos, more parents came in and I was explaining, you know, there's already like 15 kids ahead of you. So if you do want me to draw it, I don't think I'll get it. I might get it done, but I might I might not. I'm here until 2 o'clock. And they're like, okay, take a picture of my child and their sibling and their other sibling. So I like have so many photos of kids that I have to work through. And it was basically that um, until 2 o'clock, nonstop. Uh, I have a headache. I don't know if it's because of that, but or the heat. But um, it was, it was quite the barrage. And at the end of it, I felt kind of like a robot because a lot of the parents were just like, and they were like, "When is it gonna be done?" You know, I got things to do. So they kept like they. I was as I was drawing, they kept coming back and asking if their kid was done yet. You know how long, how much longer it's gonna take and it just left a i, I was a, i it made me a little bit I felt i felt like such a machine because it's just like you know i'm only one person and i can only do so much and by the end of the 
by two o'clock i was like working i worked past five like past um not past by five uh like 10 minutes past two o'clock because i was trying to finish up um a portrait for a parent who was sitting right beside me and she was she was very thankful and you know patient she was like thank you thank you so much for doing this for me i, I drew three of her kids in one in one just so i can g make it go faster but like i have four drawings that where the parents never picked it up so i mean I, I did my job i did what i was supposed to do but holy moly i knew it was going to be busy because of all the of all the kids and i knew that the parents would love to take advantage of having their kid drawn but um yeah it was uh it was fucking crazy the, the other thing too is which which i wish i could have enjoyed was the kids were really fascinated with me painting like I, I was using my watercolor set and so and my table this time was much much smaller so all the kids were just like hanging off of the side and kind of moving my stuff touching my stuff and just like breathing on me <laughs> and it's so cute because a lot of them are like i love to draw you know i paint too and so there was a lot of distraction as I was trying to get through the queue and just a lot of kids um, with their parents who were waiting for their other drawings to be, other kids drawings to be done who were just like sick of being there. So they were loud and just like rambunctious because they want to go home, right? So I just, I was just crowded. I, it, by like, I think by like the second hour in, I was feeling really crowded. Like I could not breathe just because they were just there and I wish I could have like talked to the kids more and like interacted with them a bit more because I love to you know see them be fascinated with the whole art thing but I was so stressed out so they're just like talking to me and they were really adorable but at the same time it was hard to enjoy it because I felt so pressured to get them done because the parents were also there just hanging around and trying to talk to me as well, you know, being friendly, being like, how long have you drawn? And uh, <laughs> it was so crazy. And I think it was pretty successful, but there were, oh my God, I was just so, by the end of it, by two o'clock, I had some people still coming up to me being like, can you draw me now? And I'm just, I, I had to say no. I had to say no to a lot of people and I had to say no when parents asked for a special request too so there were a bunch of parents who were like can you do this and this and this and i'm like well i can't because there's a queue you know i gotta i gotta really be efficient here but if it was less busy it would have been more enjoyable i it was fine drawing it was just so stressful because of all the hanging around and just i felt like like i couldn't talk so i felt like I just felt like uh, sometimes I felt like an idiot for some reason just because I couldn't interact properly so I just felt like a robot I, I so anyway it was successful I think the last event is not gonna be as busy it's good it's gonna be on Tuesday so less less of that unless we get placed near a story time thing again and all the parents get excited to get a free drawing of their child but yeah, <laughs> that was the event. Um, so I came home and like I didn't wasn't able to do anything until now. And like I'm still I still have a headache. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's I've been having headaches a lot, and apparently it's a pregnancy symptom. So I'm just trying to chill out, drink lots of water, and I felt like drawing something before I ended my day. It's already eight o'clock, so I basically worked on a quick comic, like I did the line art, the sketch for it. I'll show you the two pages that I finished. I finished, um, yeah, I finished two pages of pencils, so I'll show you that. It's gonna be like one of the, another short comic that I would like to release for next month or any time I can, but I really wanted to do something different from painting portraits. But yeah, I, I don't know if I explained how the event went. I just I feel like I'm just kind of like ranting and raving. I came home to my boyfriend and he was like, how'd it go? And I was just like, <laughs> uh. but you know, it's a, it was a really great opportunity and a great job. And like, I don't want to say anything bad about it. Obviously, there are some bad parts because if you are offering something technically free, I'm being paid for my time by another, you know, by whoever hired me but um if it's like something like that where people expect 
where it's free, obviously people are gonna like take advantage, right? So, and I did the best that I could. Uh, but man, was it like crazy. It was insane. It was insane. The first event was like not that, it was really chill. And then, yeah, when I walked into the entrance, I was just like, oh, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> and, but I didn't know to what extent. So oh, let me show you the pages and then I think I'm gonna like just lay down because this, this head ache is really bad. Okay, let me show you the pages. Right. So here is page one. He'd be struggling. And then page two. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so that, those were the pages. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, I came back home. I had a little bit of lunch and then I decided to watch um, the, mu the movie Infinity Pool. I thought it was directed by David Cronenberg, but it was directed by Brandon Cronenberg. I don't know if it's his brother. I have to look it up, but I watched Infinity Pool because it was something on the list that I on my list that I kind of wanted to see if I felt like watching a movie and I felt like it because I needed to like turn my drawing brain off. So I watched it and it was pretty good. Um, I, I quite liked it. I'm still trying to process if I like really liked it. I think I, I liked it. There were some parts of it where I was just like, uh, I didn't really like, I don't really like sequences of like drug sequences where there's just a lot of like crazy effects and stuff because there was a lot of that but I quite liked it. I liked, since I thought David Cronenberg directed it, uh, I was just like, I thought it would be this similar to, what's that movie with all the mutilation that I found funny? I forget what it was called. I'll put it here if I don't remember right now but yeah it was um, it was good. It's good. I don't recommend it if you are not into gore or violence because it is very violent and it is very gory. So, and there's a lot of explicit sex scenes and also drug use. So I don't recommend it if you can't watch that. But if you're okay with all that, give it a watch. So, okay, I'm gonna go downstairs now and kind of cool off because it's getting hot in here. I'm not looking forward to the summer. my newly installed curtains hi guys it is um tuesday april 18th 12 o'clock in the afternoon i have just gotten ready for the day well i got ready like i've been getting ready like slowly uh so i had to do some work for the office in the morning and once i submitted that around 10 30 i like took a shower I had a little bit of breakfast, I had some cereal, and then I did my makeup, and then in about an hour, my boyfriend is going to drive me to my last drawing event for uh, what, I, what I was hired for. So this is going to be the last one, and I doubt it's going to be as busy as the last, um, the last event that I talked about in this vlog. So I'm really looking forward to getting that done with so I can move on to working on my panel for TCAF, which I haven't done yet. Uh, so hopefully when I get back, I'll have some late lunch, probably dinner by that time. I'll be back around like, it ends at five, so I'll be back around six. And then I'm gonna work on it. It's probably gonna be a really simple PowerPoint just going over, you know, what I do with my short comics. And then, and then I have work tomorrow so yeah, and I need to edit the vlog or I need to figure out what to do for the vlog. I would also like to get my doodle calendar and my video out for March. And I think I have enough footage for my March, uh, extra vlog for March. So I'm gonna edit that as well, put that on my list for today. But yeah, I've been feeling pretty tired. I think it's because I woke up really early this morning because I really wanted to get the office work stuff done. So I'm just kind of antsy this whole day because I just want to get, you know, the stuff that is for sure needs to be done done like this event. And once it's it's out of my way, I'll feel a little bit lighter. But yeah, um, so that's the, a really quick update. Um, I guess I I need to charge this camera. I'm going to bring the camera just to show you the place. I, I don't really film as I'm working because it's the last one was so busy. I only filmed the beginning. Um, like the spot where I'll be drawing but over but throughout the time I don't usually film anything I haven't been able to take photos of the drawings of the people that I 
that I've done just because like um, I've been hired for it and it's I, I don't I guess I could ask but like I would have to ask every person and a lot of the people are pretty shy uh, are pretty shy and I didn't ask um, for the kids because I don't want to impose on a parent to like can I put your kids drawing in their photo on my social media I don't want to do that so maybe in a future event I'll be able to take photos when people are more receptive to the idea of being on social media I only want to take a few just so I can have it in like, like a portfolio so but I haven't had that you know what's under here I haven't had that opportunity yet so anyway I'm gonna charge this camera and I'll see you guys when I'm set up over there. It's a much gloomier, it's a gloomier week this week. Uh, my weekend was so nice. We enjoyed the sun as much as we could because we knew it was going to be back to regular cold again. So yeah, I'm back to my, wearing my winter coat. It's actually been a nice break because it gets hot in the studio. So it was hard to work on stuff up here. Um, but with this cool break, it's kind of nice. Anyway, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, also, I got paid for that previous event that I did already. So it took a little bit, but I got my check in. Success. <laughs> I was waiting for that. So, yeah. What's that mean? I'm done. I made it back home. My boyfriend and I are gonna go celebrate. Um, he's gonna take me out for sushi, so I'm pretty excited. I'm not gonna eat raw fish, obviously, but I'm gonna partake in the cooked sushi and all the other stuff. But yeah, I'm done, and it was successful today. It was way less busy than the Saturday one, so as expected. And it went really well. Um, I drew more more adults uh, this time around than kids. So yeah, um, really good event. I'm hoping to get more of them. They're really fun to do and I really like doing them. So yeah, but it was successful. <sighs> good morning. It is Thursday, April 20th. Happy 420. <laughs> um, about 11.50, so almost noon. And I'm just, uh, I just got started here working at my desk. Uh, yesterday I was at work and I came home and I didn't really feel that great. So I just headed straight to bed and I pretty much slept the whole night. Um, so yeah, so now I want to work on my presentation for TCAF or comics in six pages or less. So that's what I'm going to do for most of the day today. Uh, and then maybe start on some TCAF prep, which I haven't started on. But yeah, um, that's the plan. I did not bother to do my makeup today, so this is what you're gonna see. So it took me a while to get started with my presentation because I had to, like my, my Microsoft Office, I'm gonna do like a PowerPoint presentation and my PowerPoint was not um, activated. I'm using my boss's Microsoft account, so uh, he has like five licenses and he's he let me use the use one of them but it wouldn't activate and i think it's because my computer is quite old it's still running on the windows 7 operating system so it's still eligible but i think i had to update a few things i also turned like microsoft and windows updates off because i don't want i want to pick i don't want it to automatically update on me so i think i had to update one part of that and now it's working this happens from time to time, so eventually it'll stop working and I have to like download another thing. But so far, so good. So I'm just starting off with how I want this presentation to look like. I want it to be fairly simple, but I was looking through the Microsoft um, designs and look at this one. This one is called Galaxy. I don't think that really works. So, I mean, it's really pretty, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Topic one. Anyway, so I'm just going to go through that, um, but I'm going to start with the title page. Yeah, um, that's the plan for today, and then the rest of the, the other thing I need to do is to edit this vlog so I can have it uploaded by tomorrow. I never got to my doodle calendar or my March vlog, so I'm sorry for my to my video members, but that's going to be way late just because it's been so overwhelming. So, alright, I'm going to 
we start with this. Okay, it's now two o'clock and I finished my presentation. I forget how many slides there are, but it doesn't really matter. There's about 41 slides, but I kind of go through them really quickly. So I'm going to practice this in front of my boyfriend and he's going to give me some tips on what it's like. So I'll probably do a few more edits afterwards, but let me show you the front cover that I decided on. Yeah, there you go. Keeping it simple. I'm also hungry, so I think I'll have lunch first and then um, I'm going to do the, the run through of it. It was pretty hard. You know me, I'm not very good with this stuff, so I hope people there aren't like expecting something amazing. It's just gonna be for fun and just... <laughs> uh, we got pizza last night, so that's what I'm having. I've been really into Hawaiian pizza, so... I got Hawaiian pizza. I ate two slices last night, so I'm gonna have this for lunch. I'm pretty excited. I also got the habanero cheddar dip. <laughs> I look like a grudge. So it's way later now. It's now eight o'clock. I've edited to this part of the video. I also had a shower in between that time. Just, bro. That was my light. You were doing fine earlier. Uh, yeah, so, um, I did the run through of the presentation and I did some changes uh, based on my boyfriend's feedback. So, I think it's pretty good. I just have to practice it myself and run through it a couple times to make sure it goes. You know fairly smoothly I'm probably gonna be nervous anyway but it should be fine I'm I'm not too stressed out about it I don't think uh, I'll, it'll get better my nerves will get better once I am actually there so yeah so if you're curious what it is it is for the word balloon Academy uh, day that TCAF holds on the Friday before the convention on Saturday and Sunday so it'll be on the 28th it's like a full day of different kind of uh, panels uh, creative and business you know um, subjects so I am under the creative subject and so you can sign up for it on Eventbrite I'll leave a link down below if you are going to TCAF and you are going to be around on the Friday and you don't really have anything to do uh, you can um, sign up for the different panels you can sign up for mine or you can sign up for the other ones as well it looked like it's just one sign up so if you sign up once on Eventbrite you can uh, go to whichever they used to have signups for ev um, for every panel, but it, I signed up myself because I wanted to go to uh, the other sessions that are happening that day. So yeah, mine is at 10.30 in the morning, so fairly early, I think. So maybe there's not going to be a lot of people. But yeah, mine is at 10.30, and I'll leave the link down below for that. I will also be joining two panels. I don't remember if they're both on if they're both on one day. I have two panels on the weekend of TCAF itself, so Saturday or Sunday. Uh, one of them is about um, horror. I guess I could look up the titles of them. But yeah, I'll be at two panels. You know what, I'll look up the titles. Just so if you're around and you are looking to go to the panels. So the one I'm going to, there's one I'm going to on Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's called Horrid World. Why we need horror and dystopic stories more than ever. So I'm going to be there along with other artists and authors. And we're just going to kind of talk about uh, that, that topic. And then the other one I'm going to be going to is uh, same day actually, Saturday the 29th, but at noon. And this one is called What She Said Feminist as in Fuck You. So I'll be there. Jen Woodall is going to be there, who is also an artist published by Silver Sprocket, uh, Mel Stringer, and Benji Nate, which which are people I follow actually. So it's really cool. The other one I also follow a couple of them, a couple of them. So yeah, it's just going to be. I'm going to be there. Probably going to. We're going to talk about some topics. So if you are um, curious about that, you can head to those, and or you could go to watch me fail. I don't know. It'd be cringy. <laughs> 
but yeah, I'll also be tabling, so that's next week, and uh, I haven't really done any prep. So for the next vlog, I think, hopefully I'll have it out, I'll have a vlog out pro on Friday. The vlog will probably be centered around prepping for the convention itself, so if you're interested in that, look forward to the next vlog, because that's what I am going to be doing. Yeah, so I'm going to continue editing this vlog. I don't think there's anything else that I need to do or add into it. Oh yeah, I need to, you reminded me, I need to order the stickers for my um, Patreon reward cycle. If you are curious about what it is, oh my god, it looks so scary. It's going to be the cornucopia stickers that I worked on earlier in this vlog. So yeah, you can sign up. I'll leave a link to that down below, but I'm going to continue editing and not scare you anymore. One more thing before I end the vlog, if you are going to be at TCAF, so 29th and 30th, Saturday and Sunday of April, I am tabling at the second floor. It's in the room, you have to go enter, and I'm at table number 2042. Um, I will put the map up here, so that's where I'm gonna be, table 2042 on the second floor, and I'll be there Saturday and Sunday. So if you wanna purchase my book sugar, have it signed. Some of my originals will be there, my stickers, my sticker book, uh, my art book. So yeah, you can get it there. My new zine, Ultimate Body Horror. Uh, I'd love to see you there. Say hello and it'll be, um, it'll be great. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next vlog and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Have a good weekend and thanks for watching as usual. Bye!